H. A. Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Tonight we wind up week five with a good battle between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Kansas City Chiefs. Strap in, this will be a good one. Two one-loss teams getting together as they're underway on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Josh Jacobs and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it this defense for the Chiefs they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay Charles yeah and what stood out to me on tape the way they were flying to the football so that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence Carr with a play fake to Jacobs Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. And it'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Jacobs and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there a nice job defensively and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this one's going to be touched down right at about the 35-yard line. Oh, 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run with the third-year man, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. He'll get this to about the 38. Not the kind of game that we'll go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. So now a fresh set of downs. First and ten after roughing the passer. On the counter, here's Jones. And he'll get it inside the 35. The Chiefs at 3-1 and one here through their first four games. Well, they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Mahomes. This one to the right caught by Valdez Scantling. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling. 34 yards. And the Chiefs will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second down, here's Carr. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And you see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, here comes Jacobs. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. Here's Hardman to return. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a 
Kansas City touchdown. Covered a lot of ground there. 81 yards on the punt return. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Butker on for the PAT. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry a rhythm for essentially two weeks. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his left. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Carr on the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. This one incomplete. Almost picked up by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Hardman on the return. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you could build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. He's got room at the 30. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he is going to lose yardage here. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, 
Oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Nicole Hardman. He scored on a punt return, and now he's scored through the air. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. Oh, good looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they have the game here followed by the open date on the calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. On second down, Jacobs. And some room to maneuver. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? The Raiders on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. going to give it to Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now they'll throw with Carr. they swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Throwing again on second down. Carr. 
Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 25 yards that time. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Shotgun now for Carr. The quick throw knocked away, hits incomplete. He's second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed, and another example of it on that play. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Carr now on third and goal. And now another one thrown incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. Or maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in from the six. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger, a really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Eight yards to go on second down. On play action, it's Mahomes. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And he's got some space here. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. Good push up front, and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Edwards Alaire. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. It's the Pro Bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Hello. 
On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. He's dropped just inside the 20. A little second effort there, but couldn't find a whole lot of space. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. A dime look defensively for the Raiders on third down. Yeah, you're right. Two extra DBs out there. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it was fourth and one down in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. Now, I'm a little surprised that that's how they decided to play it, that they didn't go for it there. But sometimes just take those three points and put them in your pocket. I just have one question for you, partner. Okay. Hip pocket or back pocket? The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now. And that's caught inside the 35. And they'll work this down inside the 30. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now a play fake. Carr sliding out of the pocket. And he'll just get rid of it. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. Play action. Now it's Carr. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 75. And the Raiders get a late score here, the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. Chandler Jones so quick. He was the one that got in to stop that one before it got started. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Yellow. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner, and they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. They know that old expression, he's not my knight. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Mahomes to throw on third and one. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed in the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. He's going to look deep for more. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Sky Moore, his third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Butker now to add the extra point. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 47 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Counter play with Jacobs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Hey. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Carr. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive give them credit they knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth they executed it for nine yards and the offense stays out there again they'll throw with Carr Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Here's Carr. Flush to his right. He's got a man complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Darren Waller, 40 yards. And the Raiders are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Here's Mahomes to throw. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. to throw it's Mahomes he's got his man that's Hardman and he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage Time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Mahomes going to leave it with Edwards Alaire on the draw. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. 
But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 57 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And room there to work it inside the 25. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Three yards remain for second down. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. The Chiefs on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and six. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. He's going to have the first down and more than that. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey, 27 yards. And the Chiefs are closing in on a 4-1 and one start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. The throw taken in by Cole. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now Carr throwing on second down. Looking sideline incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Throwing his car on third down. Able to find Walter. That's complete. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Walter with his second touchdown of the night. And the Raiders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson.
And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, Paul. Keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run here with Edwards Alaire. And space tough to come by there as he'll give maybe a yard to the 37. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because Must have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. Hello. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Hello. They go back to the ground with Edwards Alaire. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Max Crosby in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Max Crosby is really starting to get his due around the league as one of the best young pass rushers in the game. 25 sacks in his first three seasons. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. And take it right on the 30. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Raiders will take over now first and ten. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
picked off by LeJarrius Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now we've got a third and three. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Well, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The Raiders on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This time, it's third and three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And that is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive but no reason not to try it there and they do indeed convert on fourth line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 again it's Carr and that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw again. Complete. It's Johnson. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Here's Jacobs on first and 10, down to about the 45. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And the kick here is good. So add three to the total. But they're still coming up well short. And that 